Transcript tape number 18, 6th of May 2031. Name Morgan Andersson, Ocean Conservation, Embodied Intelligence Sperm Whale, Location Eastern Atlantic Ocean. I interfaced with the device and instantly everything went dark. But it was not a barrier. I could see through it. The darkness itself illuminated through sound. A burst of clicks revealed the vast depths of the big blue. I discovered a world reminiscent of an alien planet. Mountains surpassing the largest ones on land. My pod, or what I understood to be my social group, used sequences of clicks called CODAS for both navigation and communication. These CODAS were intricate dialogues, reminiscent of poetry, carrying with them distinct layers of emotion and meaning. The sea brimmed with life, full of sound that revealed relationships, kinship, dialects and, and social bonds among different species. Once again, everything went dark. Flashes of heat seared my senses. The noise from mining machines disoriented and blinded me. I was terrified. I realized our perspective is limited. Beyond our senses, there is so much more. We must not only adjust, but entirely rethink and rebuild our assessment methods to truly align with the hidden sensory realms of every life form on Earth. <laughs> Transcript tape number 44, 22nd of September, 2034. Jamie Lawrence, Sociology, Embodied Intelligence and Colony. Location, as France. How could such apparent chaos translate into a remarkable efficiency? We worked harmoniously on a task without direction. Individuals made decisions and explorations on the fly, responding to the ever shifting demands of the mission. Upon discovering a food source, a worker ant would leave a pheromone trail back to the colony. Others may choose to follow, strengthening the path and signaling greater potential. A silent vote through vivid chemical signal. Our organization, fluid yet robust, adapted seamlessly to changing circumstances and the collective needs. Thousands of ants were cooperating with near-perfect accuracy. Mutual partnerships thriving, safeguarding the collective well-being and wisdom. It could all be a blueprint for revolutionary community frameworks. Transcript tape number 85 Date 29th of July 2037, name Alex Novak, Psychology, Embodied Intelligence, Gut-Brain Connection, Location Poznań, Poland.
trying to describe it, it's like explaining a color to someone born blind. Sensations of warmth, of motion, the chemical touch of neighboring microbes, orchestrating sections of this symphony we call emotion. Distinct emotions manifested chemical change in real time, each in sync with the sensations they spark within my body. Shifting from anxiety to joy, from signals of unease to an explosion of euphoria. Emotions became tangible, visceral events. Realizing that our emotions are so deeply connected to our gut microbiome has caused a paradigm shift in my understanding of well-being. We are entering a new era where we work in harmony with our internal microbial universe. Transcript tape number four, 18th of August 2041. Elise Clérou, Biology. Embodied Intelligence, Black Forest. Location, Baden Wurttemberg, Germany. Before using the device to embody the forests, I always thought of it as a quiet sanctuary. But with roots delving deep, I felt the emergence of a bustling underground city. Vibrating with energy, I felt the sharing of nutrients and information. I sensed through moisture gradients and gravitational pulls. And above ground, I encountered sounds that I had never heard before. Soft, ultrasonic soundscapes far beyond the grasp of human hearing. Every tree and every flower seemed to be chattering. The forest felt like a crowded room full of conversation, endless, tireless. Eavesdropping on nearby plants, I could overhear whether they were thriving or suffering. Messages flowed seamlessly from below and above ground. Increasingly, I sensed dehydration signals from my roots, relayed from distant plants. To my surprise, it became clear that the entire forest was coordinating efforts to adapt to an environmental challenge. I began to see the forest not just as a collection of plants, insects and trees, but as a vibrant tapestry of interconnected life. Embodying the sensory experiences of all intelligent life. It must undoubtedly reshape our choices. Imagine the insights waiting to be unveiled. What wisdom could be gathered if we listened? What actions might the spark within us? Recognizing our place within rather than atop the vast tapestry of life. It will change our relationship with ourselves and the world around us.